the past 24 years yeah. I've been guiding. Where they will be. And, uh, yeah. I've been awarded as among the top legend. Top legend. Safari guide in Tanzania. This I'm talking about 20. Exiled Morandu, director of Utopia Safari and Legendary Award winning to our guide. Now we are inside Serengeti National Park. We are ready for adventure. From a bus driver to a professional tour guide, Mr. Marandu and his tour company have been conducting over 100 safaris in and outside Tanzania. Mr. Exiled is the perfect tour model for the young Tanzanians planning to be in the tourism industry. Let's talk about the hidden gems in Tanzania, except Serengeti, like Pangani. True. It's quiet, exclusive places for beaches. Very and few it, people. And it has a clear crystal water. Clean. And white sand. And people think about Zanzibar. Mm. Anyway, it's mm. Zanzibar. <laughs> what would you say is the perfect itinerary for anybody who is looking to visit Tanzania? What time and what is the perfect itinerary for you? Uh, to myself, I'll say the for the tourists now who is planning to come to Tanzania uh, why would you tell them to come to Tanzania and not any other place? Why here? Let's talk about Chimps. Yes. Let's talk about Mahale. Yes. Let's talk about Kitulo. Yes. You know, you walk around where you just covered with the flowers. Heaven. All right, okay. Karibu Katika, the Safari Podcast. It's another beautiful day. In Aleobana, we have a very special guest, a legendary tour guide in the game, and we're going to learn a lot from this beautiful Karibu. Uh, being guide, being legend, mm -hmm. it's not easy. Mm. It's actually Oswego Nasema ni Gurudumu. True, true. Uh, and it's, a, it's an, a mountain true. that you climb mm. and you never end, you never reach the top. Yeah. And when you're about to reach the top, mm. It's always when you get the better view. Actually, I will say now I have the better view of being a guide. Mm -hmm. So I'm among the legend safari guide in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the past 24 years, wow. I've been guiding. Yes. And uh, I've been awarded as among the top legend. Top legend. Safari guide in Tanzania. This I'm talking about 2016. Uh, cause, I was the cause, legend. Because we have the Tanzanian Tour Guide Awards. Exactly, yes. We have the Tanzanian Tour Guide Awards and we actually hosted uh, some of the organizers for the Tour Guide Awards. I think the people are doing now the Safari Challenge. So you were one of the winners of this uh, it, was, this it used to be a magazine. Oh, uh, before. It used to be a magazine before, before mm -hmm. this. Yes, yes. And I was in the second the third magazine wow and uh, actually it was an amazing yeah being one of the top legend of wow. the tour of the tour guide okay before yeah. before we move anywhere uh, let's go back um, I have a couple of questions here for you um, I would like to know your upbringing before you are a legend before you are this amazing guy how was your life uh, before you became a tour guide? What were, you, what were your ambitions? How did you get into the industry? Uh, this industry was one of my dreams mm. and I work on it. Mm. So uh, early is talking about mm. 85 to 92. Yes. One of my uncle yeah. used to be a good professional hunter. So whenever I go to visit this uncle, yes. We always find the wild animals, mm. dead one, yes, yes. killed one, you know? Yes, the trophies, they call them the trophies. No, I'm not talking about the trophy, I'm talking about a really killed one. Like fresh, killed, yes, fresh really meat. fresh, fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. Oh so, my God, that's gruesome, this, yes. This one, I actually like it, and uh, I like guns at that time. Mm. I like guns and I, well, I like to watch people kill. Mm. And then something switch on my mind mm. i didn't like to watch kill mm. i like to watch animals, animals movement yes just like the way they live and yes. this kind of life and behave of the animals yes so i start my own challenge yes traveling myself okay. i used to be a very good adventurer okay. person yeah since when i was a kid mm. so talking about kids i travel through the rivers i travel through the wild by wow. myself without a bag without wow. a match without anything so i used i i live a little bit the life like an adventurer a, a city life yeah. at the same time as adventure yeah so i the one i remember mm. which was the most adventure 
I walk along the river mm. for three days yes. and I get lost. Wow. And what helped me, yeah. it was a train. Yeah. And yeah, the train which was coming from Dar es Salaam yes. all the way to Moshi. Yes, yes. And that's the time I, oh, there is a train. Mm. Or oh, the train goes this direction, so this mm. train goes to Moshi. Mm. So this is the road to Moshi. And that's a day I managed to get back home. And how old were you at this time? I was something like four, 13, 14. 14. Yeah. Wow. It, I was an adventure person. Yes. I really honestly, I was an adventure and, person. And, and from being uh, an adventurer and exploring everywhere, when did it develop into becoming a career, a full-fledged tour I've, guide? I'm talking about 1998 to 1999, that's when I decided to go to college and... Uh, study about wildlife and those kind of things mm. we had a teacher i mean the some of them they already passed away mm. rest in peace rest some in of peace. our teacher yes. because they become also safari they were safari guide okay. and our teacher was also safari guide mm. uh, so we we mm. learn a lot and it was not easy we had a lot of field mm. uh, going around every friday sometimes mm. we used to do monday tuesday wednesday and just filled, 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 mm. filled, filled. And then I had so many books mm. which uh, get from my uncle, from friends. I used to read about wildlife. Yes. And it's, it didn't become a challenge to me. Mm. Each and every day I become more interested True. of being safari guide. Mm. Even my first safari, mm. leading safari, mm. I start with the students. Wow. Tanzanian students mm -hmm. and I remember his teacher mm. had a joke to me uh, when you lead a, a group of students young age talking about maybe 12 to 14 mm. you need to put something on their brain True. so I, I've been trying to stick what is wildlife by each animals huh? mm. and since that I don't want to mention the school because yes. it was very long time sorry mm. but this teacher Tunaita alikuwa na buruza so because it was a very short trip it was only four days trip mm. but four days to me it's enough to give a knowledge to these kids uh, but let's move on from that let's go into now you are a tour guide you already had your first group of students but take me to your memorable experiences what were some one or two most memorable experience maybe the first time you had actually european clients or american clients and how, how did that feel that was amazing actually first of all let me tell you how i was employed okay let's start there. Uh, i start working with a company of a guy who was a family friend mm. uh, I don't want to mention the company it's a big company actually at the moment mm -hmm. uh, this guy I was looking for a job yes at the same time I, I need to survive you know mm. so I was driving the this Moshi Arusha coaster mm. so I met the guy at the corner mm. then I tell him man you know I have my CVs and everything I've done my wildlife will you give me a job mm. Then he said, why don't you come to the office tomorrow? Mm. Just passing by. Passing by. Yeah. And then the next morning I went to the office. Mm. Then I was very lucky. Mm. Since then I never asked for a job. Wow. Never, ever. I asked for a job only once. Yeah. Since then I never asked for a job. That's very I nice. mean, I, I used to be called every now and then, please come work with us. Would you like to work with us with this kind of salary? Mm. If I'm happy with it, if I'm not happy, then, then done. Do, and uh, it's just the way I just put myself. So I work with this company. My first European was very VIP American clients. Mm -hmm. This VIP American client, I remember him, his name is Jeff. Mm -hmm. He was uh, among the directors or agents mm -hmm. from America to this company. Okay. One of my friends was fired. Mm -hmm. Actually, this friend, we went secondary school. He was my schoolmate. Mm. So he was fired and then I just jumped in. Mm. 
then I was like, okay, at the company, who is the smarter guy? Yes, yes. This guy. Okay. Although his brothers and cousins and relatives, yes. they're also tour studying, yes, okay. being tour guide, okay. but they were not yet there. Yeah. So I took the client, uh, Jeff, and uh, there were three different clients. We we're talking about three different clients, and uh, it was like joining Safari. Of course, yeah. At that time, the uh, lodges, cell phones, there were no cell phone at all. Mm. Uh, it was just recently, people might think like, what was the cell phone yeah, cam? Yeah, yeah. We used to have a Tritel, <laughs> they call it Mobitel, yes. and then Vodacom. So, you have a phone from Arusha, Mo Moshi, Arusha, and Gorongoro, that's it. You don't have no, no network, more phone, no, no network. network yeah. So now you have to use the mm. desktop phone, like, yeah, <sighs> yeah Sibia Mezani. Mm. It wasn't amazing. So I went on a trip and uh, I managed to do Tarangire. It was my favorite part, Manyara. Uh, at that time, I was fresh. Mm. So it, I was full of knowledge, you know, like just a class knowledge. Yes. It's, there is a class knowledge mm. and there is a world knowledge. Yes. These two things, uh, you need to understand what's the world knowledge mm. and the class knowledge. Mm. The world knowledge, this is what exactly needed mm. and a class very small amount yes, of class yes, knowledge. yes you need so a lot of experience you need an experience to yeah. have this wild knowledge yeah. so at that time I was fresh from school it's just about three months maybe mm. Serengeti path mm. so I remember with the students with the school buses when I was in the college all those things I remember the road yes. because I, what I was doing I was just Crammed the road when I was in the college with the students who were driving the coaster. I was cramming the road to make sure I know where to go. Mm. So I decided to chase one road that not many people go. Mm. And you, you've been to Serengeti? Yes, I've been to Serengeti. Okay, before. from Seronera Valley, yes. uh, going up a little bit, because yes. not many people know that the Seronera, mm. they call it the Seronera Valley, mm -hmm. but people don't know why they call it Valley. Actually, mm. Seronera, it's inside, mm. it's in the sun, it's a heart of the Serengeti. Yes, yes. So that valley, you have to go out mm. to get the different elevation. Mm, there you yes, see yes, other yes. stuff. Yes. So I went out through the one of the road, they call it New Myology. This is just a, one of the normal game routes mm. many people like to do. Actually, especially the beginners, okay. we like to go just the, behind the yes, lodge. Yes, yes. We don't need to go far. Very far, because you're scared. Uh, you don't you're know scared, the you don't know much, exactly yeah. if you'll make it uh, back to the lodge. Because the more it's get dark, the more you get lost. Because okay. Serengeti, it seems like it's turned at night. Yeah. If, you, if it's the first time, it's turned upside down. Yeah. So I went through the lodge uh, with the river. I end up at the Lake Magadi. Whoa. But what pulls me to Lake Magadi? Mm. Every few kilometers I drive, mm. I see lions. Wow. If it's not a lion, it's a cheetah. Wow. Or if it's not, it's an elephant. So wow. it's keep the clients busy yeah. keep the client busy and makes me feel like wow this is it I'm yeah winning i'm it. winning yeah, yeah this is it so it's just like i was doing like driving driving end up to lake magadi so at lake magadi uh we found the pride of lion and uh we, i was very lucky yes yes and not only lucky because i found the rhino as well okay. i didn't know at that time there is a rhino project mm. at this area moru copies oh, i mean yes. golu moru copies beautiful copies yeah this this project i didn't know about it i was not aware about it and so, uh, i keep enjoying it mm. at that time there used to be so many roads okay open yes nowadays there's no such a road there is mm. a road from lake magadi straight to simba copies yes, yes, yes. Uh, simba copies uh they are among the big copies or copies they depend how you how you, how you pronounce it, it. yes but, uh, it's supposed to be copies copies of course yeah. Yeah. these copies are granite so yes this is the home yes uh, of uh, so many predators and reptiles and true, birds true. and yeah. all those what you mentioned mm -hmm. and i drove and i came across at the main road now mm -hmm. it's about four o'clock wow uh Guess what happened? What happened? 
I didn't know which direction to take, <laughs> left or right. <laughs> so I was at the main, this is the main road, this is the uh, Simba copy. Yeah. So I just came out here. Yeah. And then this is Nabi and this is back to Seronera. Yes. I was supposed to go back to Seronera. Uh -huh. Remember, at a, when if you are at the Simba copies, mm -hmm. you can only have a view of Nabi Hill. Yes. And the other hills. Yes. And uh, so what happened? I decided to hold there mm -hmm. and start to talk about planes and savannah <laughs> because I don't know which direction to go. So I know exactly there will be a car passing. Yeah, like killing this time. Yeah, yeah, this is like, <laughs> man. A junction. Somebody junction. will come. Somebody will come. <laughs> yeah. One of my friends, anyway, got uh, rest in peace. Yes. Let him rest in peace. Rest you know? in peace. Yeah, he passed away like two years ago. Uh, he just passed. He was just going to Ngorongoro. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped him. They said, Exam, hey, how is it? They say, Yeah, nice. I saw so many lines back here. Mm. So, what did you see? Mm. It was a tricky question. Mm. I cannot ask him direct question like, like where, 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 where where, go? Where, where, which direction is Seronera? Yeah. And then they told me, Oh, back at this tree here near 16, there is a place known as 16 at mm. Seronera Valley. Mm -hmm. There, are, there is a pride of land on the road. Then I know, oh, so this is the direction back to, to Serenera. <laughs> I said, okay, cool, man. Down there, I left some six of them. And uh, further down near the lake, mm. there is a rhino. I said, no, I'm not going there. No, I'm good, yeah. I'm good. So I had my direction. Mm. Now, this is direction to Serenera. So I went to Serenera. I dropped two clients at the lodge, one client at the camp. And then I went to sleep at the lodge. <laughs> so this is one of this is my first trip. Yeah, with Jeff. I, don't, I cannot. Yes, I will say no Jeff. Yes. This is my first trip, and uh, since then, uh, I continue enjoying it. Okay, after after going on different trips and having different clients with different itineraries, what would you say is the perfect itinerary for anybody who is looking to visit Tanzania? What time and what is the perfect itinerary for you? Uh, to myself, I'll say the I can squeeze the itinerary mm -hmm. into maximum or minimum. Mm -hmm. I can squeeze to seven days. Okay. Why seven days? Because the seven days you can have a taste of northern parts. Mm. Uh, this northern part of the Tanzania, mm. it's rich. Okay. And. If I go beyond seven days, yeah. I can give you 21 days. Wow. So it has to be times three. Yes. Why times three? Tanzania is huge. Very huge. Yeah. And there is so much to see in Tanzania. We have all every things that you need in Africa. Talking about seven days only, uh, in seven days, you will have this between the small pack the biggest one mm. in between you will have this cultural tour you will have like local food cuisines and everything mm. this is really tight itinerary mm. for seven days so what you need exactly for safari mm. normal mm -hmm. let's start from eight days eight days when you're not squeezed because in Serengeti a minimum number of days I will give you two nights Wow, I know many people do for four days. Four days is safari, five, seven days. Yeah, that's they long. they do four days like tak 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 tak. I know yeah. this is like Israel love to say tak 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 tak. <laughs> you know that means like uh -huh. tap 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 tap. You're done. Okay. Going back somewhere else. Yes, but this is not exactly. You will say yeah, I've been to Serengeti. Mm. I've been to Ngorongoro, but. You haven't enjoyed it for real. Did you taste yeah, the Serengeti? Yeah. Did you taste the Tarangire? Yeah. Or you just see the Tarangire a snapshot? Sign? It was a snap. You yeah. know, there is a way we said you've seen the signboard yeah. and you didn't <laughs> see. You know, yeah. when you when you go somewhere at the party, yeah. enjoy the party. True, true. You don't need to end up at the entrance and you say, Yes, I was <laughs> at, the at the party. I've been at the party. Just yeah. get inside the party, mm. have fun. Yeah. Get outside and say yes the part was good i had fun at the I had fun so going to serengeti this is uh for a, for a day it's like going at the party at the entrance mm. and you see people having fun inside there mm. then you say yeah i enjoy the serengeti 
So you, you, you need you need time with Serengeti. Plenty of time. You need time with Serengeti. You need and, time. and talking about Serengeti and crafting, uh, you talked about even a 14-day itinerary. Let's talk about the hidden gems in Tanzania, except Serengeti. Like, what are the hidden gems that you can tell people about Tanzania um, that they do not know? Well? And now, now depend on the interest of people. Yeah. But uh, in generally, Tanzania has so much. Yeah. You know, like we have this we call the heritage. Yes. Uh, in Tanzania, mm -hmm. let's not talk about Ngorongoro. Let's not talk about Serengeti. Yes. Serengeti is one of it. Yeah. Ngorongoro is part of it. Yes. And because Serengeti, once you mention Serengeti, mm -hmm. I will I will drive you back to Serengeti and then I will get you out. Mm -hmm. When you call it Serengeti, Ngorongoro is part of the Serengeti. So True. this is an ecosystem of the Serengeti. Yes, of course. If yeah. there's no Ngorongoro, it's not the Serengeti. It's not does complex. not exist. Yeah, yeah. It's not complex. Yeah. So let's put this the bigger one, the bigger cake one on the side. Okay. Going to south part of the country, yeah. uh, central part of the country, yeah. eastern part of the country, wow, yeah. and western part of the country, wow. everywhere, there, those are hidden gems. There's something to see. Let's talk about Chimps. Yes. Let's talk about Mahale. Yes. Let's talk about Kitulo. Yes. You know, you walk around where you're just covered with the flowers and everything. It's in heaven. What, what if I don't, I don't want the animals? What if I want the beaches? Where can I get the beautiful sands and the... Uh, we have so many. Yes. Uh, Zanzibar is one of it. Very famous. But if you want the private... Yes, private one. Private, exclusive, ex VIP. Exclusive, exclusive. Mm. Still, we have the small islands mm. in Zanzibar. Yeah. But come to the mainland. Yeah. Pangani. True. It's quiet, exclusive places wow. for beaches. Very and few it, people. And it has a clear crystal water. Clean. And white sun. As a white color. Wow. And people think about Zanzibar. Mm. Anyway, it's Zanzibar. <laughs> it's very you know, famous. It's famous. It's yeah. already famous. <laughs> it's like when you tell him Zungu now, the cake is it's like goat. <laughs> yes. It's not a... Uh, cake flower cake uh, anymore mm -hmm. because they never tasted before okay yeah, so let's let's go uh to the questions that first timers uh usually have when you when you meet the client how do you know this is a first timer or this is a experienced traveler because we have people who come back and we have people who are, who are just new and they don't know anything but there are people who come back how do you distinguish that as a professional tour guide as a as a guide yeah. uh the first things uh, you need to know from the office yes it's to have an information of your client yes so some clients they mention mm. that I've been to Africa mm. and uh, people think Africa is like a village yeah but Africa is one of the biggest continent in the world true and majority they put Africa as a very small place, n not knowing <laughs> from North Africa to mm. South Africa, yeah. it takes days and days and, and days weeks, to cross. Yeah, yeah true that. True that. Sometimes a month, it depends what you're doing. True, yeah. If you're uh, walking, you are, you are driving or you are riding. It depends. Yeah. Or you're you, flying. If you fly, it <laughs> takes hours. Yes, yes. From Tanzania to Ethiopia, it's two hours. Wow! From uh, through the map, yeah, it looks it's like vast. It's, it it looks like you can drive here for like six hours, <laughs> but that takes you couple of days. Couple of days. I yeah. won't say minimum four days. Yeah, you're a good driver. Yeah, you drive there night. Yeah, four days you will be in Ethiopia. You're there. Yeah, and for the new client mm. who it's a first time to visit Africa. Yes. They have their own, how will I put this word? Mm. They have what they think they don't know, what they think Africa mm. will look like. Mm -hmm. News sometimes mm -hmm. uh, actually drag most of the tourists in the wrong direction. Yes. Uh, because when people think about Africa, they think about Somalia, they think about Congo, True, yeah. they think about Rwanda, mm. they think where the problems are. The war zones. The war zones. Mm. They don't think exactly where the other part is. Mm. Like, I'm trying to, just to remember mm. this, when people 
talk about Ebola. Mm. You know how many people cancel their trip? Wow. So many people cancel yeah. the trip because of Ebola in Congo. Mm. And some of them, they're already in the country. Mm. They said, oh my God, I received the news. There is Ebola in Africa. Mm. I, I saw it on CNN. I, I just, <laughs> no, they have that. When they travel, yes. immediately they get, uh, they get something like where to to get from the embassy from the embassy yes, from the embassies. Yes, what to look for and what not yeah, to do so people people they get information from the embassy faster yeah faster and these are genuine information yes there is ebola in congo this is embassy in dar es salaam mm. announced that embassy in kenya for israelis will say there is ebola in K in congo mm. so since that people don't know the distance and yes disease can be spread so quick mm. humans are traveling yes, those things they, huh? yeah. but where will this human from congo meet mm. the tourists so if it's not mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. if it's not a, a congo leasing person become a tourist mm. uh, then there is no way you can get them. And, and it's, it's mainly bad press because it's not the whole of Congo and not everybody is just, falling just a, in It's just an Anyango. Yeah. It's just in a small place where you get this disease. So this kind of tourist, the, the experienced one, mm -hmm. uh, will say, I'm going to Tanzania. Yes, I've never yes. been to Tanzania. Yes. I've been to South Africa. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to, like, this person came to Tanzania, yeah. come across meet Exaud. Yes. I normally kill them with my words. Wow. I tell them, oh, so you told me you've been to South Africa. Oh, mm. wow, very nice. <laughs> uh, but I don't think you will go to South Africa again. Mm. This is it. This is it. This is the top shot. This is, we're going to shut you down mm. with the number of animals yeah. and how close you can get. Yeah. I know there will be so many tourists, mm -hmm. but it's because it's what we have. True. I don't want to talk about yeah, but the neighbor country, yeah, but the other Of countries. course, we love yeah. them, we love them and we respect them, but, but we, we are blessed. Have, we even, are blessed. Even, even I've seen the list that it is the, well, the country with the most number of lions. Recently. W recently. You saw that too, I'm yeah, sure. I know that part. And, and, and we are leading. Exactly, for quite, time, for, for quite a long time, my friends. For quite a long time. Even long Serengeti time. has won a couple of awards. So this is this is the only place we'll win a win award yeah, for the best wildlife, destination in best wildlife. Best destination for the wildlife. Yeah. And it's not only that. I, I was so close to the researchers mm -hmm. those days. Yeah. Until today. Yeah. I've been close to the, one of the lady known as Helen. She was doing the cheetah research, mm -hmm. and again, one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to mention his name, but mm -hmm. he's still doing the cheetah research. Wow. A Tanzanian guy. Wow. Uh, taking his PhD from UK to Tanzania. He's still doing his research. Okay. So I always talk and ask how many numbers. Da, da. Mm. And if someone do the cheetah research, mm. he definitely knows how many lions, how many leopards. Okay, so um, we have talked a lot about the beautiful country of Tanzania, your experiences. Now I would love us to go to the young tour guides in the making because uh, I'm a teacher at the profession tour guide school and we like to inspire them and tell them that there is space for them, they just have to be professional, they have to study hard. What would you tell them, you as a legendary, successful uh, professional tour guide, what would you tell the young ones watching you right now? Perfect. Uh, yeah. One thing. Yes. A self-respect. Mm. When you respect yourself, mm. everyone will respect you. True. Uh, if you put yourself into cuckoo. Yes. Cuckoo mindset. Yeah. Cuckoo mindset. Yeah. So later on, maybe they will ask what is cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> when you put yourself into cuckoo mindset, yeah. everyone will drive you as a cuckoo yeah. mindset. So yeah. it's not easy for you to have a good job. You'll end up being a freelance uh you will be late mm. to come out mm. to be a good guide yeah. takes 
a lot of energy. Yeah. You need to respect yourself. You need to love mm. what you're doing. Yes, yes. If yes. you don't love, and there is a like and love. Yes. A lot, many people like to say, I like my job. Yeah. That means they don't love mm. their job. You have to love it. You need to love it. Mm. And the more you love it, mm. the more even the tourists yeah. would love to travel with you. Yes. I will tell you something. Yeah. If you love nature, mm. really nature, mm. you, you don't think about tipping. Mm. Tips from the back. <laughs> of course. Because yes. this side mirror, my friend, yeah. <laughs> kills a lot of guys. <laughs> They're always looking like... Uh, and they die... Yeah. Yeah. Old age, oh, expecting, expecting for the tip to they come. They keep looking at the tourist. Is mm. he happy? Mm. Yeah, lion is eating crocodile. Mm. This is not guiding, my friend. No, no. This is just a driving. <laughs> You're driving. You need to be interested in, in the animals, in, in the, the wildlife. Animals, more than even the tourist himself. True. They have to be inspired by you. You need to have your phone mm. and you take the photos. Mm. Eh? If the client, client will never ask you, why are you taking photos? Mm. Client will know exactly even what we are seeing. It's memorable to him. It's a first time for mm. him. Yeah. If it's not first time, this guy would love to have this memory. Mm. So you're busy chatting with your phone. Yeah, lion. Normally they eat up to 25 kilos of meat uh, within four days. And then that's it. They spend five days. Very disrespectful. A client will just count himself like, okay, I will take the robot. Even the robot will they will, will, will do that. Well, they will do that. Yeah. I will drive myself because I can read all these things. On Google, yeah. I got yeah. all the information. That's now, not what I came for. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Guys, look at that. You're concentrating there. You are there. Mm. Physically, you're just there. Yes, the phone is there. It's ringing. It's your <laughs> mother calling you. It's your father <laughs> calling you. Give it a time. Yeah. Focus. Mm. Talk about what exactly is happening at that moment. Mm. A client will ask you, sorry to say this, mm. a funny question. Yeah. Where do you think this line is going? Mm. What is the answer? Even yourself, you don't know where the line is going. True. You don't know what is line thinking. Yeah. But you can give an answer. Mm. Maybe the rest of the pride, mm. it's down there. Oh, let me check. Mm. And then you come out, the roof, take your binocular, you look, mm. you might find an antelope on the other side. It's probably going to hunt. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. now when you came down, you said, this land is going to hunt. Let's do this. Let's go. Yeah. Now, you know, yeah, yeah. this is when the client will be like, wow. Wow. I have, the, this, I have the tour guide. This is the guide. Mm. But not like, yeah, you know, maybe she's going to hide on that tree over there. Mm. No. There is a mission. If mm. it's about the tree, she or he left the trees behind. Yes, and on that note, um, so many people come come to this college thinking of the tip and how many dollars they're gonna get paid, and also like for the people who are like the flight catchers, we call them the fishers, who are always thinking for to marry a white girl and to <laughs> get money, and 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 I'm looking here at a successful guy who has. His beautiful family, cars, money, house, and you don't go and find a muzungu at a restaurant to <sighs> to make money off of sex. What do you say about people like that? And how do we change the mindset of the young guys who are who are thinking like that? Again, yeah. the cuckoo ones, <laughs> the cuckoo mindset, the cuckoo mindset. Yeah. Huh? Uh, this is just the things nowadays. Mm. Uh, young generation, they love a quick money. Yeah. They forget even the quick money goes out quick, disappears so quick. Very fast. So you might get a quick money, you become a billionaire. Mm. But since that, you didn't know how to... You know, to as build as a, it from ground up. From ground... From the scratch. Yeah. If you know how... What happened from the scratch, yeah. exactly you won't like to go back there. True. I have so many friends mm. that they marry Muzungus, mm. but at the moment their life is back there. Mm. I don't want to talk about their of names. Course, yeah. Some of them they are very successful. Some yes. of them they are not. They are just there. Yes. They just act. They mm. are okay, but they are not okay. They are not okay. They are controlled. They are not happy. They are not only to be controlled. Yeah. They are not happy. Yeah, they are not happy. If you want to be happy, yeah. African. 
If you want to marry Mzungu, mm. marry Mzungu when you have money. Mm. She will respect you. Not for money. Not for, not money. for money. Not for love. Marry someone for love. Mm. Not because she will take you to Europe, he <laughs> or she. Because I've been to Europe and all these things. Yeah. It's just like, if you don't have a job in Europe, mm. you are disgusting mm. garbage. Count on me, I've, I know. I've yeah. been there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just for leisure. Yeah. Not to be taken. Mm. For leisure. With and your still, own money. With my own money. I still travel. Wow. And I will continue travel. Wow. Holiday wise and everything. Yes. But my friend, yeah. we African. Yeah. We are supposed to be in Africa. That's it. Wow. We're not supposed to be in Europe. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Exaud, legend tour guide. Um, to wind it up, um, for the tourist now who is planning to come to Tanzania, uh, why would you tell them to come to Tanzania and not any other place? Why here? Uh, Tanzania, it's... I can say we are very calm people, mm -hmm. we are very welcome people, mm -hmm. and we have what they don't have. Mm. You know, if it's about to see buildings and the other stuff, yeah. Europe it's okay. Yeah. European can go to America, yeah. American can go to Dubai. Yeah. But when it came to nature, mm. very few people mm. know this, True. what I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Traveling. Mm. It's one of the best therapy ever. Wow. If I say therapy, mm. it's a long-term therapy. It's not a short-term. Mm -mm. Remember your question about why marry Muzungu? Yes, yes. There's some Muzungus came Africa for sex yes. and go back home. Mm. It's part of their own therapy. Yes. <laughs> So they come across with the beach boys and yeah. fish, uh, fishers and those. But they are not of, invested. They are not going to invest. <laughs> like. They have invested already. Yeah. They have what they want <laughs> eh, already. So yes. it's part of their therapy. Yeah. Keep that away. Yeah. Seeing animals mm. through your binocular, through your camera, through your window. Mm. It's not the same as seeing animals mm. in the cage. Mm. They drug these animals. Yeah. Some of them, yes, they are free. Like in California, there is a one best zoo. In uh, Arizona, there is another best zoo. Uh, Frankfurt, there is another best zoo. That animals, they're free. Uh, Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. there is also a best zoo. That animals, they're also free. Talking about countries that they have a huge zoo, like a national mm -hmm. park that yeah. you drove in. Yeah. Although the animals, they still feed them. Yes. You, but you find the lions walking by themselves, mm. but they feed them. Mm. But they have a quite a big area. Yeah, fences and all that. It's yeah. fenced, but it's big. Yeah. It's uh, enough space for them to move around. Okay. But that's what they don't have. Mm. It's what we have. Mm. Talk about the beach. Mm -hmm. there, there are so many beaches around the world. Yeah, yeah. But they don't have warm beach. Wow. Crystal clear water beach. beach. Wow. White sand. White sand. Yeah. Talking about nature, mm. they don't have it. Mm. Talking about culture, mm. they don't have it. Mm. Their culture is gone. Mm. So what are they coming here for? Mm. Coming down to Tanzania, you will come across with the culture, mm. come across with the nature, mm. come across with the beach, come across with nice people ever. Mm. There is a fake smile. Mm. Everyone in this world has, has one, yeah. But in Tanzania, there are very few fake smiles mm. when it comes to tourists. If I will smile, I mean it. Mm. If I don't have to smile, I don't have to smile. Mm. I don't have to be fake. Mm. Because if, you, if you're if you fake, you're faking your smile, immediately I can tell this is fake. True. You're ruining your job. Mm. Every time, ka, 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 ka. It's too much. It's yeah. too, like, tourists will know, like, it's irritating. What, what, what is the problem yeah, with this guy? Why is he laughing? Yeah. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> even the things which is not for laughing. Which are not even funny, yes. Oh. Anyway, yeah. Uh -huh. So it, it, there's so much in Tanzania. Yeah. And we have space to cover. And the government announced that there we need five million tourists. Yes, I heard that. It's not enough. 
Yeah. Let's talk about 20 yeah. tourists a year. But, but is, Exim, we, we have to build the, the infrastructures first. We also have to do the work. We have to build the guides. That, that's why I told you, like, here at, guides, at the college, guides, we are, we are guides telling the, these guys, like... Guides are the keys. Yes, because these are the people who will be with the tourists from the airport to the parks, back to the airport, and it's very important for the country as a whole to prepare itself for even the five million which will come, and of course for more and more to come, because it will be a good thing guide, for, for all guide, of us. Guide must be full self-respect. Very true. A self. If you don't respect yourself, mm. you cannot even respect what you're doing. True. Very true. So let's start for yourself. Mm. Self-respect. Yeah. And the rest in front of you, you cannot ignore them. True. Even the child can teach you how to walk. True. You need to respect that. Yeah. You learn from everybody and anything. You learn from every creature in this world, my yeah. friends. And every movement mm. that you see yeah. from an insect. Yeah. To an elephant, yeah. From Daga, yeah. what do you call sardines? <laughs> sardines, yeah. Sardines yeah. to a well, yeah. You need to learn. Wow. From all those things. Wow. If you get a chance to learn, yeah. Learn. Wow. You don't need to dig down to do research and to have an no, a PhD. No, no, no. You know, no. once you have an a PhD, you cannot be a guide yeah, anymore. Yeah. So you need to be there. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere there yeah. that you know. So when I wake you up in the morning, I ask, oh, what is this bird? Mm. What bird? I say, just mm. listen. Mm. And he say, oh, this is the color red cuckoo. Yeah. Color red bobo. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, you know the voice. You know the calls. Yeah. You know all those things. At night, I wake you up like, mm. I ask you, what is this? Mm. Say, this is lion. I tell you, no, this is mm. ostrich. Mm. Be careful wow. next time. Wow. You know? It's like you need to know different between lion, different between ostrich, blah, blah, blah. and the lion and the ostrich is almost the same. Mm -hmm. And many people doesn't know that. They don't, don't understand that. Yeah. They don't understand that what, is this an ostrich or a lion. Wow. Uh, this is lion just because it's night. You don't know an ostrich can call mm. for a male mm. to come to the nest yeah. at that time. Wow. Wow. And it's exactly like lion. And, and, and you can only do this when you are such uh, experienced, learned, legendary professional tour guide like yourself. And um, I want to thank you. Uh, this is the first time meeting you. Um, Kayanda put this all up and I'm very, I'm very happy to to have this opportunity to talk to you and I've learned a lot myself and I hope also the people at home have also learned a lot and everybody who's watching so thank you very much my brother if there's anything you like to wrap up and say uh, the floor is yours uh, what I can say and what I can talk about uh, traveling to Tanzania mm. it's one of the best places mm. to visit mm. Not only the best place where you can find your ancestors. Wow. <gasps> Old Vygod, Dr. Leakey, yeah, like we all came from the, from the is, East, yeah. You know, in a West uh, European, yeah, da, 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 they don't believe in this, <laughs> yeah, huh? Everybody Western, came some, Western, some Western people, they don't believe yeah. in this. Uh, yes, or the Sankar, research is there. Yeah. They don't believe in being like that yes but yes this is the only place you can find the really really bonds or i can say the ancient fossils, uh, fossils. ancient it's like this very close yes but like fossils <laughs> like fossils yeah <laughs> talking about a million years, years yeah of course huh? yeah Thank you very much, Mr. Exo. This was a beautiful interview. Welcome. Thank you Pleasure. very much. Anytime.